This has probably been one of the most challenging and toughest rounds of bargaining. Reaching a deal with the province, the B.C. General Employees Union announced it has a tentative agreement weeks after going on strike, causing a ripple effect that had liquor and cannabis stores running low on stock. The deal calls for about a 3% wage increase in the first year, plus 25 cents an hour. Further increases are based on inflation. Our members will, in fact, uh, see more than what the cost of living or, or CPI inflation rate was for the first year of the agreement. The questions always come in in year two and year three. The union issued a strike notice August 12, prompting workers at BC liquor distribution branches to head to the picket line while it fought for wage increases. Strike action was paused once the province agreed to go back to the bargaining table, but some BC liquor stores still look like this. Restaurants and bars also running low. We're really excited about it. The next test for us, though, is restarting distribution in this province. Uh, it is still weeks and weeks and weeks behind. Uh, that 15 days of strike action is going to take over a month probably to recover. Some are critical of the deal, arguing it won't meet inflation targets, but it is setting a bar for other union negotiations. The pattern in terms of the general wage increase that we've seen today uh, will be what we will see uh, largely rolled out across uh, other um, collective agreements and bargainings throughout the fall. In Vancouver, Crystal Adaris, City News.